Hi, and welcome to another episode of D-Link TV. I'm Hemok, and today Mike is going to explain to us how you can improve your wireless range for your, either for your home or your office. So, Mike, what can someone do um, if they're having trouble with their reception, you know, getting to their bedrooms or whatnot from the, your uh, access point? Sure. Well, Hemok, there are a few simple things that people can do that, that isn't going to necessarily cost them any money, mm -hmm. uh, and it can dramatically increase the range and the reception of their wireless oh, network. Really? So one of the first things that you can do is, is rather easy is position your wireless router in a central location in your home. Mm -hmm. Seems kind of obvious, you know, if it's in a central location then it's going to move out and you're going to have access, you know, throughout your house right. better, but a lot of times people will put this in their den or, you know, somewhere that's they they want to be kind of, you know, isolated. They don't mm -hmm. want people to see it, so they'll stick it in a corner somewhere in a den that nobody goes in and you know then you're going to get bad reception at the far end of your house right. so you're going to be given reception out you know through the wall to your neighbor right. but you know you're not extending to your far bedrooms and, and stuff and again the reason why you want to have it in your central location is because the wireless signal that it sends out is kind of like a big umbrella right right which which is my second point mm -hmm. is would be to replace the antenna mm -hmm. so routers usually ship with omnidirectional antennas mm -hmm. meaning that the wireless signal, like you said, moves out kind of like a donut or mm -hmm. an umbrella, right? Mm -hmm. um, in all directions. So if you have your router positioned against a wall mm -hmm. or in a den, which we said not to do, but if you do, it's you're, like I said, you're sending the signal out through the wall and you know to cross this, you know, to your neighbor. So replace your antennas with high gain antennas. Now it requires you to purchase something, but they're not very expensive. Mm -hmm. um, they're easy to easy to find. And so you just purchase a high gain antenna mm. and uh, purchase one that's that's a, a, a directional antenna, mm. so that you can point them more towards the location of where you want to light up. You know that that room. So what would be considered a high gain antenna? Because I know that uh, uh, normally our routers ship with a two decibel two right. dBi antenna. Right? So like a five decibel okay. antenna, um, fairly common high gain antenna, mm -hmm. um, very cheap. So. Uh, easy to replace. You know, the antennas on your routers, usually you have to screw them in to begin with, right? Mm -hmm. So, five gain antenna usually will just be a little bit bigger than this. And same, you know, same, same connector, you whatever, right you just screw it right back on and you get better reception. So Okay, and what's another way? Well, another thing you can do um, is position your router off of the floor, okay? Mm -hmm. So, again, we talked about a lot of times people are going to want to put this out of the way, somewhere that's inconspicuous, so they're going to put it on the floor. Mm -hmm. Best thing to do would be to put it up higher on a pedestal. If mm -hmm. you can find a table, put it on a table. Mm -hmm. Make sure that it's away from like file cabinets and other metal obstructions. Mm -hmm. So metal will really interfere with the wireless signal. So if you have a fire, file cabinet nearby or whatever, mm -hmm. make sure that you move the file cabinet or move the router away from that. Mm -hmm. So in essence, central location, away from the floor, on a mm -hmm. pedestal, away from metal, so those, mm -hmm. those are a few things. I've seen some people who mount their routers like near the ceiling, is that also a good idea? You can also mount it on the mm -hmm. ceiling, That's I mean, so the higher the router, mm -hmm. the better, because the signal is, is kind of like a line of sight thing, mm -hmm. right? So the lower it is, the less the signal is going to permeate, the higher it is. That's why they put radio station antennas on mountains, right? So you get better reception. So usually higher the better. Makes sense. Okay. I mean, don't put it on your roof. But um, So another thing you can do is, is one of the problems with, with the wireless signal with range is interference. Right. Okay? And when we're talking about wireless G, um, there's a lot of things that use that frequency, the 2.4 gigahertz, as you know. Mm -hmm. um, Microwave ovens, okay, mm -hmm. they use 2.4 gigahertz. Uh, most cordless phones, and now they, you know, they do 5 gigahertz cordless phones, but a lot of the older cordless phones are 2.4 gigahertz. So whenever you're using these frequencies, they're going to interfere with your router. So right. I know that sometimes at home, if I'm, you know, surfing the net or something like that, and all of a sudden my connection drops, mm -hmm. I, you know, look into the kitchen and, and I find out the microwave's on, right? Mm -hmm. So um, older microwaves, especially that aren't shielded very well, mm -hmm. will cause that kind of interference. So position the router far away from the microwave as possible, mm -hmm. away from the kitchen, and don't sit it next to your base unit for your 2.4 cordless phone. Mm -hmm. um, the next thing, and, and, and the most important thing, the, the biggest thing that you can do is, we just mentioned wireless G. If you have wireless B, 802.11B, mm -hmm. upgrade. So either upgrade to G, which is um, you know the next step up, or even better, up 
grade to draft 802.11 in. Mm -hmm. uh, we have a lot of draft-in products here at D-Link, a lot of draft-in routers. So upgrading to draft-in is really the best thing you can do because with draft-in, you get extended range, mm -hmm. you get better speeds. So you're much better speeds. Much better yeah. speeds, right. So you'll really improve your reception and mm -hmm. your quality um, and speeds right. with draft-in. And especially if you're taking on applications like... Uh, Voice over IP. Voice uh, over IP, right. streaming, well streaming video. media, video, mm -hmm. right, stuff right. like that. So if that's something that's really important to you mm -hmm. and you're frustrated that you can't, you know, stream mm -hmm. multimedia stuff right. very well, you know, definitely upgrade. So for someone out there who has a, a G, I'm sorry, a B network, right, mm -hmm. it would be best to skip G and just go directly to N, right? It, it would be best to mm -hmm. skip to skip G because G is, you know, B is obviously really, you know, you can't really buy B products anymore. And G is on its way out. Okay? Right. The, you're still seeing G products being sold, and mm -hmm. we still sell G products. But N is really where it's going to be at. The draft in mm -hmm. um, solutions from D-Link is really where you want right. to, to go. Right. And especially with new Windows Vista and things like that, it's all based on... Absolutely. Right. Yeah. Okay. Right. Yeah. That's that's where it is. So if you have anything draft uh, 802.11b or g upgrade to n, that's that's the first thing that you can really do to to see significant improvements. Great. Well, thank you for the information. Thanks, Iman. So again, if you're interested in uh, upgrading your wireless network to n or even g, uh, just log on to dlink.com and get more information for yourself. Thank you again for tuning into Dlink TV. Until next time.